Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be going over my controllers, my settings, showing you my settings and what stuff I'm using in the background. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do, don't forget to hit that button, tick on that like button. Love the intro. So a little bit of housework to get through here guys. The code dropping down is a code we've picked at random from our comment section. If you want your code to show in the next video, just leave a comment if you've subscribed to the channel and uh, we'll pick one at random again. And for anybody that's new to Star Citizen, if you use that code, you will get a 5,000 credits when you get the game and you'll push that person up in the rankings in the referral codings and they can win some goodies and stuff like that as well. So yeah, if you use that code. And the names dropping across the bottom at the moment are our members of YouTube. If you want to help the channel out further, you can become a member, hit that join button and you will get a shout out in the credits uh, in the next video as well as your name along the bottom with the rest of the guys as well as some other goodies like um, emojis and stuff like that so yeah if you want to help the channel out further hit that join button guys so today what we're going to be doing we're going to be going over my input devices all the stuff that i use for playing star citizen and all the stuff that's going on in the background so i'm going to be using emily and showing you basically what my Emily is doing. I'm going to show you what my control pad's doing, and I'm going to be showing you what my Toby device is doing, and just everything that's going on on the screen. You'll see everything on the screen. It'll look a bit cluttered, but the video isn't about me doing a video of going picking cargo up, but it's about showing you what's going on in the background. A few people have asked me now for a video showing some of these things, and so I thought I'd do a video that actually just shows everything. It shows my controller settings and, and my game settings, as well as what's going on with Emily and, and my Toby and the emily and the toby settings i oh no sorry the emily and the gamepad settings i have them as um downloadable things that you can take and they're on our discord so if you jump in the comment section you'll find our discord link there join in there and you should see something that says input devices or something like that and you'll find in there there's um our setups in there so yeah so let's get into this one guys so today I'm going to be showing you my settings for my gamepad as well as um, Toby and, and Emily. And so this is my gamepad. I have a Xbox Elite controller and it's got the larger stick on the front here and these come off. And then you've got these paddles on the back here and these also come off, these little paddles. So there's four of them on the back. And what you do with these paddles is you can assign these to different buttons on the pad themselves. And so that's what I've done. So I've, I've assigned this, bot, this top one here to be my right bumper. I've assigned this bottom paddle here to be my click in thumbstick. Because when you're trying to click in your thumbstick like for running and run forward at the same time, like that and that, it's just hard. But it's easier just to press that and then push forward. It's just so much easier. I've got this top one here to be my pushing this stick here. Again, it's another um, not so easy one. And then this bottom pad here is my A button, so for jumping and stuff like that. So that's my pad that I'm using, Xbox Elite pad that I've got. I think they're about 150 quidish or something like that. But I come from using game controllers from Xbox and, and PlayStation, and I just prefer that at the moment. I do want to try some sticks at some point. When I can afford it, I will get some sticks. Um, but for now, that does everything. 90% of the time, I'm using my pad. I will use my mouse and keyboard at times for things like going through menus and, and moving stuff across in my inventories and stuff like that. But other than that, 90% is the pad and then voice control with Emily, which I'll show you as well. And so this button here that I have selected here, this one actually, um, controls me talking to Emily. So when I want to talk to Emily, I'll press this button in, um, which is like my stick in here, and that will then control Emily for me, or, or speak, let me speak to Emily. So that's my pad, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my settings of the pad, and what I'm gonna do is take my face off the screen now, because there's already enough clutter on the screen as it is, and um, you'll see once I've done the pads, and I'll do the pad first, then I'll do the Emily, and then I'll go into the game with it all on screen so you can see it. So we hope you like this one, guys. So here's my pad, and this is, I've got a few different settings. I've got Destiny, Star Citizen, and Cod. And so 
this is basically a quick look at the buttons that we've got here and then we can go into config in a bit. And as you see, that's that button, which is the back button, and that's gonna press A on that back button. So it's going to configure and I can show you this. And we'll go to Star Citizen. And then we'll go to the uh, little pencil uh, icon, and that will allow me to edit this. And so you can go across your different settings, but well, we'll look at these back buttons here. So this back button here, which is the top, uh, the bottom back button, will push in my thumbstick, my left thumbstick. And then the uh, the top back button on the left will push in uh, my right bumper, so that when I want to do my alternate stuff on the pad. And then this top one here will do the right stick pushing in, and the bottom one will do A. And here's my curves on the pad, uh, basic curves here, you can see what they are. And then my triggers I've set at the her triggers, so the there's no pushing, and on the back of the pad I've set it to lowest. And then my rumble I've set really low as well, because I don't like a lot of rumble going on. And then that's just the colour of the thing on the front. So that's the basic pad the, of my um, gaming pad and so yeah so that hopefully should help you guys out so here's my Emily guys and so here she is and what I'll do is once I've shown you this I'll hide it down like this and put this on a different screen but I'll st still keep it up in the top corner so you guys can see it up here and so basically I have created my own plugin Star Citizen, and I'm going to put that in the Discord. We've got a, a section in Discord where we put our stuff, um, our presets and stuff for stuff we've done, and so I'll put that in there as well. And so this is my my one here. I'm not going to go too much into what Emily does, uh, apart from it's a voice con controller. So you use your voice to control the keyboard commands, and you can go in and you can design your own things. So if you're looking here. I have a few different ones like deploying landing gear and um, and um, retracting my landing gear and it does certain things depending on whether it's already done or not. And so one of the main ones that I do use is like turning my engines off and what that'll do is it'll hold F8 which then sets my, uh, sorry I'll go to engines off, that's engines on, uh, I'll hold F5 or F7. And so basically it'll play a thing saying it's turning the engines off. Then it'll hold F7, which takes my shields to full, my shield priority full. Then it'll do a 300 millisecond wait, and then it'll release the F7, and then it'll press I, which is basically turning my engines off. I could add in there to get myself out of my seat as well. Um, so that's something else you can add. And then when I turn them back on, it does F8, which resets my power. Uh, so it does all the same thing, but just resets my power um, priorities. So there's a few different ones I've got going on there, like open doors and stuff like that that I use. Uh, but mainly my power, power triangle. So if I say something like uh, set full speed, that'll do my full speed. If I set, I can set number of missiles, uh, requesting takeoff and requesting landing, opening my doors, opening the wings, and power thrusters will set all my maximum uh, power to thrusters or to weapons and then the other ones are shields there so them are the main ones I use because I can't use them on my um, pad and I've not got them set on my pad which I'll show you with the pad settings later on so that's that I'm going to close that and I'll put, I'll put this um, profile into discord for, for people if they want it and so I'm going to hide that and then that'll just be in the screen later on up at the top and you'll see you'll see the commands and basically this PFC here and the input level. And what the PFC does is, so I've got my controller, my wireless controller. This is my input device, my output device. And then I've got the controller and I've set that to uh, button 10. So what that'll do is I've got it to press for, uh, for um, command and that will basically let Emily listen to me. So when I'm holding the key, Emily will listen to me then and if you have that one on then she will it will always be on and when you press it it's to mute it whereas with this one when you press it it's to uh, have Emily listen to you and so that's that and as you see when I press the PFC button that lights up up here 
you see that will light up there and that keeps my then I can talk to Emily from there then there's no input level coming in at the moment I'll turn my headset on so that you can see that and so I have my normal mic which I'm talking through now currently which is my for, for recording and I have a headset a mic which I've set here and now I've turned that on you can see there's an input level now so if I was to say open doors open doors retract landing gear retracting landing gear so you can see there's just like the commands it comes up here and you can tell when I'm talking to Emily because of the PFC button here so I'm going to move that over and then we'll move on to something else so here we are guys I'll go into my options here and I'll just scroll through these so my game settings So here we go guys, um, so I'll just scroll down these, you can set yours as you want, but I'm just going to go down, scroll down, I'm not really going to go too much into what's going on here, it's all pretty much um, the same, I think there's only one thing I've really changed on this, or maybe two, and I'll show you that everything else is the same. So we can put position lines on as well if you need to. So the gimbal default is set to auto and if I press manual or fixed then we can set what the default is there. So the default is manual and my auto gimbal display is on average hip one pip per weapon so you'll get a, a dot for each weapon this is one that I've put on automatically enables target padlock so when you target someone your character will follow them with its head and so let's go back up to that one again this pip thing here so I've got my default pip as a lag pip So I've got my um, my default type as a lag pip and so when I press B that will switch it to if I start off with um, fixed weapons and uh, a lag pip that's how I like that but when I press B and I'll show you that in my controls in a minute it switches my lag pip to a, a lead pip and so that when my auto gimbal is on I rather have my um, pip in front and so that's what I've done for that and I'll show you that in a minute so that's the settings for the game settings um, graphic settings 44 48 55 borderless there's my screen size very high medium medium high medium field of view 94 motion blur off v-sync off sharpening to 73 um, chromatic aberration zero film grain off and the QR code up here off as well Audio, I always turn my music off, I always done that in games, I prefer just the sounds. Um, everything else is the same from that, uh, apart from this one, to wait play audio when gaming is in background. So anybody that's doing videos or recording or streaming, when you switch screens to look at something or go on to do something else off your screen, the music and or sound will stop when you come off and so for, for your streamers that might be a bit horrible. So if you put that on, then it won't. 
and then we've got my controls and i'm not gonna i haven't changed anything really with the mouse so i'm gonna go over to the gamepad down here and i've with me i have inversions on so it's the only thing i really have changed is my foot inversion and my i think the um the flight ones are already turned on on the inversions and then my fun stick sensitivities on foot and the movement um, you can see here what I've set just to make it a little bit more um, less sensitive so like my gamepad sensitivities I've took down a bit my aiming weapons took down a bit the main one that I changed was the turrets and I put them all the way up to the top and, and we'll look at the curve because I just wanted the I just wanted the sensitivity to be a lot less with the, the turrets but you can roll your mouse wheel and that will also take the sensitivity down as well the speed of it and so that's the controls and then my key bindings and we're going we'll go over to gamepad and we'll go to advanced down here and i've left most things as they are for the gamepad but a lot of the stuff is the same so like changing my scanning mode to d-pad i think that was already done everything i think is set as it was there might only be a couple of things i've changed but i'll go through them so you can see them like the port lock d-pad twice and you'll see a lot of things are unassigned like here so vehicle view looking around cycling camera flight movement i think all that's the same one thing to remember to turn off is when we come to it and uh, we're right yeah one of them that says it there swap your roll toggle and that is one of your thumbsticks so you need to take that one off because it switches your thumbsticks which is really bad not too sure why that's in and then the quantum travel just the left shoulder button and x to engage it and then hold it to go uh, nothing on docking nothing on targeting i think double up on the d-pad selects it and then left shoulder double up on the d-pad is um turns it off vehicle targeting nothing set to there right angle handling nothing radar right shoulder button you keep hold of that and let go that's what i've got on it vehicle scanning uh, so that's setting my scanning mode and then uh, zooming it in and zooming it out vehicle mining i see i've not touched any of these these are all as they was basic salvage mode yeah all that's the same as as default exit to it again all the same i haven't touched much on these this one i've changed normally you have your group one right trigger and your group two left trigger so i set mine so that it fires all the weapons all together by putting the right trigger on fire all weapons so i only use the right trigger and it fires all my weapons but i have, the reason i've set the group two is just in case i want to put something on group two like if say if i want to have a quantum interdiction or something like that i can set that on its own onto group two and have its own thing there and everything else again from there is the same cycling the, the modes is b and the, again i've added this the toggle lag lip, um lag pips so when i go from auto gimbal uh, to auto gimbal it puts it into lead as i showed you in the game settings where i do that flight triangles nothing on that uh, power triangle assessment nothing on that uh, missiles i think it's all the same i haven't touched anything on that and then the countermeasures i changed this this was i think just a and i don't think this had one at all so i just changed these this was left shoulder in a and this one was oh it might have been b which was getting me you would get me out of my seat or something like that it was some some weird setting they had so i've changed this one here and then this one here and then everything else is the same so these stuff you can set with emily as well you can set all this stuff with emily if you wanted to lights again just what was basic so this again on for everything is what it was 
I haven't changed anything on this again. Everything is as it is. I think the only thing I've done is added the helmet thing. So one of them will be uh, the helmet. Toggle equip helmet. I've just put that as left shoulder and down pad, pad D. Wipe helmet, I added that one, which is left shoulder button and up on the D-pad. And everything else then is the same. That's that. And um, that's on the foot. Oh, one thing I will remember uh, remember to tell you here is this um, one of these here in the vehicle copy it might be self destruct is normally on. Make sure you turn that one off. Just just click it and get rid of it. So just remember that one. So where was we at? We was at on foot. And then we got EVA. I haven't touched anything in here again. And. Then we go to ground vehicle, just general. I've left everything as it was. And then ground vehicle general here. Not general. Um, ground vehicle movement. I've put my drive forward to right trigger and my drive backwards to left trigger. So when I'm doing races and stuff like that, it's just easier to do. And I think I left everything else the same from there. So camera stuff here. Again, I just left all that as it was. Socials, so respawning X, exit my seat, left foot, shoulder button B. Social invites, nothing in there. Emotes, you can put stuff in here. So I put these on my D-pad. So salute, threaten, um, whistle, or wave, whatever it is. On my D-pad for it, I want to be sociable. My head tracking and stuff, nothing on that. My quick keys, sometimes it unassigns that, but I've put it back onto Y. So when I press hold, I press and keep hold of Y to have my interaction mode on. And yeah, and then I think everything else was the same. And then the cameras, uh, left shoulder button there. One thing I forgot to mention here, in my game settings, I don't know where it is. One of them is, I think I've put on my crouch toggle, my prone toggle, and my aim down sight toggle. So my aim down sight toggle means I just press my aim down sights button and then I can let go and he's, he'll stay aim down sights. It's something that I've always done in COD as well. It just stops me from holding the pad and gripping it with my fingers and then and that, that feels like then that, that um, finger is not used then and it sort of immobilizes part of my hand because I'm holding that trigger in. So And then you just press it again to take it off. And so that's something I've always done that. Which makes things a little bit easier. You're not gripping your pad in a, in a certain way. And that's it, and then the comms and head tracking. So I always took mute my microphone for when I'm in game. So when, because especially when I'm doing videos, people hear me and they'll say, your microphone's on. And everything else is the same. The other thing that I did change here, obviously I've set my Toby and um, it's, it's off and I can turn it on with a button, with my slash button. Uh, the only thing I've really changed in it was the sensitivities and stuff like that. Just I think I kept all them the same. The the one thing I changed was the eyes. So you'll see in here when I'm seated, um, see so my gaze here, and then you've got your eye gaze here and your head gaze. So that's the seated one. So we go to the non-seated. Yeah, is it here? When I find it. Toby Gears, missile lock. Toby Gears, seated head. So um, what I've done, I've set it so that my gears, do, so in the FPS and seated, my gears is all head. So my eyes don't move the screen itself, only my head does and my eyes will lock targets. So um, target selection, uh, uh, tip, gaze based, 
tiger selection is on so that when I look at a, an enemy's triangle, it will select them and then I just double tap up on my D-pad and that will then select that, um, target that person. And the other thing I've done is I've turned off the... So disable Toby during FPS, uh, I put no, but during uh, aim down sights, it is turned off because I don't want my head moving while I'm aiming down the sights. During the Moby Glass, I've turned it off. During the interactive mode, I've turned it off. So if you're on a screen, like buying cargo, I've turned it off for that because it keeps pulling you away. And so that's the ones I've changed, basically, on the Toby, and then the rest of it's the same. So that's my settings for Star Citizen. So we'll um, move on to the next thing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have everything go in. I'm going to go in game, I'm going to have my Toby on so you can see what I'm looking at. I'm going to have my uh, Emily on in the top corner and I'm going to have my pad, what buttons are being pressed here in the bottom corner. So let's get into that. So here we go guys. You see me in my, in my bed and you can see I've got my gaze on at the top up here. I've got my Emily so you can see when I'm pressing my button and talking to her. And then down here is my gamepad stuff. And so you can see exactly what I'm doing as I'm moving around and jumping, stuff like that. And as I showed you in my pad earlier, I've got the four back buttons. So even though I'm pressing something, I could be just pressing the back button instead. So like my jump here, I don't actually press the A button. Um, I press the back, I've got it set to a back button and this one here I don't actually press my right, my top bumper, I'm actually pressing a back button. This one I don't press my stick in, again it's my back button and this one I don't, don't press this stick in, it's my back button. And you can see where I'm looking, so double tapping Y there opens that. And so it's going to be a bit of a mess on the screen, but it's not about what I'm doing in um, the, the game itself and what I'm playing. It's about looking at my movements, my pads and stuff like that and, and talking to Emily uh, and that type of stuff. So 90% of the time I'm actually using my pad. I do use my mouse and keyboard as well for things like when I'm in menus and that. But 90% of the time I will just use my pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get out of ship. I'm going to go to maybe a bunker and maybe do some fighting in a bunker and that's it basically. So you can see my first person, my uh, ship movements. And then what I'll do is I'll do a fight, a, a ship fight as well. So you can also see that when I'm selecting people.
Okay, he does this sometimes. Your belongings belong to you. Keep a careful watch on all personal items. Let's check this out. We we'll just have a, a, a review of this at the same time. Microtech, the Empire's leader in cutting edge technology, where creative innovation meets innovative creativity. Vehicle, so your vehicle has been delivered to the okay. so we'll have a look at this at the same time so looking for a good time be sure let me grab a bunk commission of some sort only a quick ride on the metro loop be sure to explore all new babbage has to offer whether it's the latest in cutting edge technology for the beauty of our award-winning garden. Make sure we pick that up. Tomorrow, so like now I'm using my mouse. Microtech. The Empire's leader in cutting edge technology. Where creative innovation meets innovative creativity. Welcome to the Ace Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Your insurance claim has been sent. Remember, your belongings Welcome belong to you. Welcome Keep a careful watch on all personal items. System. What I'm looking for is like a... Um... From all of us at Microtech, welcome Excite. to the Savage Interstellar Spaceport. From all of us at Microtech, welcome to the new Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. For the latest updates on ship availability and gate assignments, please use one of the conveniently located terminals. So I'm going to take this one. Okay. Ready to upgrade? Located in the plaza, Let's do it. the factory line has all of Microtech's latest offerings. So we're killing following call to arms. Anger three. Anger three. So I'll stop following the call to arms. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off my, actually I'll do a thing on this later, actually I'll turn off my eye tracker, just one sec, I'll turn off my eye tracker and that, because I want to do a, a separate video for this. Some big guns, them. Some big guns. That's a big old engine as well.
Right, so back in. So this is where I'll use Emily. Oh, let me just adjust myself. So this is where I'll use Emily now uh, for turning things on and doing stuff. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. Request takeoff. Requesting clearance. Stand by. Power shields. Maximizing shields. Retract landing gear. Retracting landing gear. Thrusters. Maximizing engines. So this is what Emily's good for, this power triangle thing here. So if you're in a battle and your shields are already full, you can say power weapons. Maximizing weapons. And that'll put your weapons powerful. And then you're gonna get more. So you see if the rhinos are at 42 for 42. If I change that back down to thrusters, power thrusters. Maximizing engines. Goes down to 35. And your shield will regen faster if you've got it on your shield. Um, guns will regen faster if it's on your guns and you'll get a bit more. And then your thrusters will regen faster with, and you'll have a lot more um, time with it on your boost with the thrusters one. So you can set what you want for your voice commands. So you can set it for your missiles, I could say, Add missile. Add missile. Add missile. Reset missiles. So it's up to you what you say in your in your thing. Assess to stagger my guns. Let's do this. I did take a gun, I'm sure I did. But let's go, let's see where we need to go. What we're looking for, we're looking for. I'm not following it, so let me do that. Again, I could actually just say, oh, if I just pull back and get my GCF back. I could actually say, more big glass. More big glass. And I'll bring up my more big glass. So let me see, let me follow that contract. Accepted. Call to arms is being followed there, so we'll track that one instead. That's where we gotta go there. So you'll be able to see down at the bottom around here my controls that I'm using, everything I'm doing. So you guys can see exactly what, 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 I'm, what I'm up to. I 
could set that with my voice, my my speed. Deploy landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Now, if I said that again, deploy landing gear. I've, and that's part of Emily where I've said it if I've already said that command. Shields hit. Right, okay, that's that, not good. I'm just going to have to land somewhere. Don't know how far away I am. Did I die? Died. So let's get back over there. So you can see here where I'm toggling my aim, press the button on, press the button off.
saw where they went, but they couldn't have got far. Found us some target practice. They are, they won't get away long. So you see guys, taking a lot of them out already, it's not easy sometimes on your own, but you can see my movements, you can see what I'm doing with my eyes and my looting. I can't wait for the new system um, for picking up weapons and stuff because it's a mess with what, like I was picking up that arms armour earlier and so that was a pain, whereas with the new system you'll be able to just pick up the, the gun itself. And there is a guy around here I'm supposed to kill. I've already killed him. I think I might have already killed him actually. Have a look in my jobs. Have I completed it? Yep, completed it. So history. Yeah, there we are. So you can see my movements walking around. So that's all that. So there's this bottom section down here to look through.
Power shields. Maximizing shields. Okay. Damn it. Let my shields get up now. Power weapons. Power weapons. Maximizing weapons. Add me Sam. Power weapons. Maximizing weapons.
so we hope you like this video guys uh, that's just my input devices hopefully it'll help some guys out i know this has been a long video and i just wanted to demonstrate my input so you guys can actually see it i know it's not going to be for everybody not everybody is going to be wanting to know about the pad and stuff like that i have put some timeline timeline stamps in there so hopefully that helps you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video so if you did don't forget to take the point to tickle that like button hit the bell and subscribe notification check out the description for our discord link as well as our org link which is noobs gaming on the rsi site and there's also a membership there for joining youtube as well which helps us out greatly and we want to thank those guys that I already have and so yeah so that's this video guys and um we hope you liked it see you out in the verse